But, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maid servants. Chillin, chillin. You got a minute? Let's go, brother. I mean, Timmy. Key. Key. Timmy. 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 But we're trying to let our people know why it's necessary to repent. And that's because we are God's chosen people. You ever heard of the Israelites? I believe I'm an Israelite. Oh, come on. I'll praise this, man. So, you praise know, right? so, you know, with that being said, you know, it's, it's, it's a way we got to walk and carry ourselves. You know what that way is? Um, to guard God's law, statutes, and commands. That's right. So, uh, give me Deuteronomy 4 or 5. Bro. You, you keep any laws? Um, so, I do my best, I would say. Right. I know it's not much that we can really do in our flesh, but it's by the spirit. And yeah, that's that's a fact. That's a, that's a big point, man. It's a big point. All right? But uh, this is Deuteronomy 4 and 5. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and, and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should do so in the land, whether you go to possess it. It says, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding. Right. So like you, like you said, we're supposed to be keeping the knowledge of the it says, in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Right. It says, for what nation is there so great who, who, God, who have God so nigh unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? Right, so when we walk in the law, statutes, and commandments, the other nations look at us like we're, you know, oh, we're, we're a spectacle to them, right? On the, on the base level that we are now, we're expected to go to But when we walk, it's an astonishment because they're so used to seeing niggas. They don't, they're not used to seeing kings, yeah, and uh, princes, right. Right. rulers. No. Right? So when we walk in, you know, the ways of the Heavenly Father, that puts us up here. You know, our people are so tired of being down here. We talk about breaking generational curses. You know, I like to, you know, continue to ask people, okay, somebody had to put the curse on you. Who put these curses on you? Right? You yeah. gotta, for you to understand how to break them, you got to understand where it started, right? We understand that it started with the Heavenly Father. Right? right, and you make a good point when you say uh, it's really all about the Spirit. Because even Christ said that in John the fourth chapter, he said the hour coming for um, the true worshiper is going to worship me in spirit and in truth. So like you said, we, you're not going to be saved by keeping the law perfectly, right? But we want to try to do it to the best of our ability. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but it's really all belief in, in his son, Yahweh Shah, right? That's, that's his true name in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew. Yeah. But we know him as Jesus Christ in the world. Right, but that, you write about that. You got to uh, believe in Yahweh Shah. That's really where your salvation come from. That's the foundation of everything, man. Yeah. Right, because we all filthy rags, for real, for real. But through him dying for us on that cross, now we can receive salvation, man. Yeah. You know, so that's a beautiful point. No, yeah, I agree. Um, it's some things in the law that I looked over, and I'm like, oh, yeah, like, because I don't eat pork. Yeah, all praises. I'm already, I'm already allergic to seafood. So oh, yeah, all praises, that. man. But it's, it's, a, it's a bunch of things I feel like are really helpful that I can say many overlook. Right, uh, I agree. Get Joshua one and eight. Pretty much everything in the law going to be helpful, man. Nice. That's right. Amen to that. Oh, no, actually, uh, I got some scriptures too, actually. Yeah, you, got your you, got your, oh, you got your Bible? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I always oh, stay straight. Oh, praise, praise, man. Oh, praise. Oh, praise, man. You always got to stay straight, though. Yeah, you, you definitely right. do. Oh, stay armored up, because the enemy always trying to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. Oh. Saying going to and fro, seeking who he made devour, <laughs> man. Hold on, where is Joshua? Joshua 1 and 8. Yeah, 1 and 8. Oh, yeah, he got the tetrachromium. Oh, yeah, you got an apocrypha? Oh, uh, yes, I do. Oh, uh, praises, man. Yeah, I'm going to get into, like, deeper studies. I've been studying the canon, but I want to get deeper into my studies. Oh, uh, praises, man. Right, I'm going to bring this out. This is uh, Joshua 1 and 8. It says, the, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Right, so my people understood that they were supposed to be Keeping the laws and the commandments of the Heavenly Father, we won't have to worry about bringing generational curses. The Heavenly Father, He made that plain cut and clear when He gave us the covenant. Y'all keep right. my commandments, y'all gonna be blessed. I'm gonna have an abundance of all things. If y'all break my commandments, I'm gonna curse you. Right. right. And our people have no knowledge of that, right? It's been stripped from us. The understanding of that has been taken away from us. So now we gotta come out here and we gotta remind our people, right? Right. Uh, what's that, First Kings 8 and 48? We gotta bethink ourselves. 
right, in the land of our captivity. Right. So that's why it's you know imperative that we come out here and we actually teach our people. You know, we called you coming by, your brother. You know what I'm saying, but see, you know, right, man, man's going to the Lord, Lord, man. Right, because we was actually gonna come out here yesterday. We were just saying that earlier. Yeah, right? I, was just, I was just walking past. I heard y'all, and I'm like, hold on. Yes, yes. Sir. I had to stop for a second. Ooh, yeah, I, love... uh, I believe it's Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30 and 20. Yes, man, I'm like, man, I gotta stop by at least and just, you know, oh, okay. politic with y'all real quick. So, uh, who who you been basically like studying with? Um, so I've studied uh one of the pastors that I've been listening to, Pastor Darby. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, is it what? Huh? Yeah, is it what? Like he he acknowledged that he's an Israelite. Oh, come on, cool, cool. Yeah, cool. so um, so. I consider myself a Christian, but I consider myself an Israelite. Right, right, right. But he's he's giving me the word and balance, I feel like, with acknowledging that we're Israelites mm-hmm. and the curses that we deal with, mm-hmm. but also just a salvation through Christ. And that's the same thing y'all believe, I mean, Yeah, it does. From what, you know, and things like that. So, um, But, like, do he do he believe that the, the laws are completely done away, though? He never stated that the laws was completely done away. Gotcha, gotcha. Because a lot of Christians do. They, they, just, they just neglect the law. You see what I'm saying? Right. So he, does he teach to keep the laws though? Like, do they actually teach to go into the law? No. Do they teach don't eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster stuff like that? Um, I didn't really get too deep into him actually preaching about the laws, but going into some of Paul's teachings, about right? What he states, right? About not keeping the law based on our flesh. Know, yeah, but like that. that's but, that's what we're trying to get to. But he gets it. He he gets on the spiritual aspect, and you know the commands that um. You know, Jesus said, you know, to love God with all of our heart, all of our mind, all of our strength. Right. And to love our brothers and sisters as ourselves. And it's on those, you know, we fulfill all the law in itself. And I do believe if we're loving God with all of our heart, it's going to be in our heart to want to fulfill it. Exactly. You know, so to want to Christ. Fulfill it. You get First uh, John 5 and 3. Check this out. This is what I wanted to show you, though. Because you, you said uh, Paul, 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 because uh, a lot of people, uh, they miss understand Paul's teachings because Paul never taught against the law. You see what I'm saying? He didn't. Right. That's what I'm going to read real quick. This uh, Romans. This is Romans 3 and I'm going to start from um, I'm going to start from well, Romans 3 and 29. Come on. It says oh, no, you, oh, come on. It says is he the it says is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. So the Gentiles would just be Israelites who didn't know that they were is, uh, Israelites. They were Israelite foreigners, right? But that's besides the point right now. But it says, seeing it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. It says, this is the point. Do we then make void the law through faith? So just because we have faith in Christ and we, we can receive salvation through that faith, do we then make void the law? It says, God forbid. Yeah, we established the law. And that's what we out here doing. We, we still teach the law. So he do teach faith. He, he, he was teaching that faith is the most important thing. Faith in Christ. But do we then make void the law? Do we then say fuck the law? Right, basically, uh, to make it just, yeah, plain. I know he didn't. He ain't say that, man. You said we established it. I have a brother in the faith as well. Um, he read me something in Acts. I don't remember where it's at. Mm-hmm. But he believes we're Israelites as well. He's deeper mm-hmm. into it than me. Gotcha. But, um. He went through uh, in the Acts and some of Paul's teachings and how he had to go to the elders mm-hmm. because he had to get taught, like, you know, we're not teaching against the law. Right. You know, things like that. I, so, well, so, you can go to it. Uh, 15. 15. I'm, I'm trying to remember where that was at. Let's, let's read the whole chapter. Uh, I'll read it. It's uh, Acts, Acts 15. We're going to read the whole chapter. Right, so, yeah, Acts 15. Yeah. Oh, that's where it's at. Cool. This is, a, this is a super important chapter. It's the spirit that you brought this up. Right? It says... And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. So you had these Jews, these these uh, these Jews who didn't really believe. Some of them, they did believe in Christ, but they felt like the law, you had to keep the law perfectly, right, to, to receive salvation, right? So it says, when therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and disputation with them, meaning it was a, it was a heated argument amongst them, right? It says... Uh, they determined that Paul and Barnabas, and they determined Salakia, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other of them should go up to Jerusalem and to the apostles and elders. So they wanted them to go to Jerusalem to the elders and, and, and the apostles, like Peter, James, you know, John. Right? It says about this question. And being brought on their way by the church, they passed through Finnis 
in Samaria declaring the conversion of the Gentiles. And they caused great joy unto all the brethren. And when they were come to Jerusalem, they were received of the church and of the apostles and elders. And they declare all things that the Heavenly Father had done with them. But there arose up a certain sect of Pharisees which believed. So you have Pharisees which believed in Christ, right? But check this out. It says, saying that it was needful to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. Right? So this is the point. They said, the, the Pharisees were like, man, we, they need to be circumcised and they need to keep the law of Moses. Right? Now check this out. It says, and the apostles and elders came together for to consider this matter. And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up, which was the head of the church. Right? Mm -hmm. So what he says matters a lot. It says, and said unto them, men and brethren, ye know how a good while ago, um, God made choice among us that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Spirit, even as he did unto us. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. It says, now therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of disciples? That, that yoke being telling them, you need to do this law, you need to do that law, you need to keep all these laws perfectly to receive salvation. That was a yoke to them. You know, because think about it this way. If you're just coming out the ways, for example, us, we come out the ways of um, living like an American, you know, eating abominable foods, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, messing up our lungs. You know, it won't be easy for us to just step in and just keep all every all 613 laws in the, in the, in the first five books. You see? So when we read on, we're going to see what they did, right? Like, for example, right? Three times a year, you know, all men is supposed to take a trip to Jerusalem for the high holidays. We just regular dudes in America. We at the bottom of the totem pole nine times out of ten. We don't got the money to just exactly. travel in Jerusalem. That's a yoke. That's a, a burden that's too heavy for us to bear. Exactly. You know what I'm and that's how that's that's what the, the Jews are trying to do to these uh these new brothers that was coming into the faith. They're like, man, y'all need to get circumcised. Y'all need to do this. Y'all need to keep all these laws. But Paul and them was basically like, man, I gotta cut them some slack. They just now coming out the ways of the Grecians. You see what I'm saying? They was living like the Romans, right? So. A man, a, a grown man, he don't want somebody just come cutting him, him <laughs> that, skin off his rod, that's man, you know? <laughs> and so it says, uh, but we believe that through grace of the Lord, Yahweh, we shall be saved even as they, which we 100% believe, man, right? It says, then all the multitude kept silence and gave audience to Barnabas and Paul, declaring what miracles and wonders the Heavenly Father had wrought among the Gentiles by them. And after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, men and brethren, hearken unto me. It says, Simeon had declared how God at the first day visited the Gentiles to take out them a people for his name. And to this ag agreed the words of the prophets as it is written. After this, I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down. And I will build again the ruins thereof and I will set it up that the residue of men might seek after the Lord and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called and the Lord who doeth all these things. Right. And we, we just read. No, we're trying to get to a specific point, but I want to give you the full context. That's why we're reading it. It says. Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them. Right? So now he's speaking about these guys who's just coming into the faith again. Which uh, from among the Gentiles are turned to God. But that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols, which is in the law. You see? And it says, and from fornication, which is in the law. And it says, and from things strangled and from blood, which are all in the law. So what, what the apostles did... They gave them specific things. A starter pack, for example. Like, if you were to come up here and you had no idea of what the law was, we wouldn't hit you with all 613. We'd be like, hey, but try to stop eating pork. Stop this, the, the, the abominable seafood. Hey, uh, don't commit adultery. Don't lie. You see? Like a, a starter pack. That's what they like did. The so they established the law. The right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So they established the law, but the whole context of this chapter was not to bind the yoke on them saying you have to keep all these to be saved. You see? So they didn't tell them they had to be circumcised. They just gave them a starter pack. Now check this out. It says, verse 21. It says, For Moses of old time hath in every city them that preach him. So they told him, Hey, Moses got, hey, people in every city is teaching the law of Moses, right? So it says, Being read in the synagogues every Sabbath day. So regardless, just give them this starter pack. And then, hey, they can learn more laws because Moses is being taught in every city. You see what I'm saying? So that's the context of that chapter. It wasn't them saying, We're only going to be saved through belief, but. They were, they were saying, uh, we're not going to bind this law on them because you have to have faith in Christ. Christ died for your sins, man. You know, where you, where you fall short at, that's what Christ's blood was for. See what I'm saying? Right. So definitely have to keep the, that's why we say to the best of your abilities. That's why you said, when you said through the spirit, we said that's super important to understand. Because a lot of people do come into this truth and they feel like, 
law, 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 law. law. But it, to the letter of the law. Exactly. I, I tried that when I first started walking because I came into this like immediately. I I, I didn't like, wasn't thrown into being a Christian. Like, so I started reading the Torah first. Right. You know, so that's where I got the law from, and I'm like, yo, I want to do my best to keep this. I realize I feel short every time, but when I learned the concept of Christ dying and He fulfilling the law, and then the things that He says and says that we should be like Him, right? And if He fulfilled the law, and all things are possible with Christ restricting us, you know, just like we were spread right here, the whole thing, God, that's you know, a good God, point. Exactly. Possible. You know, it's possible to. Even fulfill these things through Christ. So you you understand what it means that he fulfilled them. That means he did the law, yeah. right? Because a lot of people they, they think that's talking about he he, he ended the law. Him. You see what I'm saying? The, the, this I like how this translated because it says that um, and here it's, it doesn't say that he ended it. It says he completed it. Right. And when okay. you look at the word complete, you know it, it's like okay, you know this is like a standard. More right. So right. Exactly. Like exactly. It, more so exactly. than just like we doing away with it completely. Right, exactly, exactly. That's a, that's, 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 that's a mighty point. Just, uh, just touching on that circumcision thing again, right? It says, uh, this Romans 2 and 25, it says, For circumcision verily profit if thou keep the law. It says, But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made a circumcision. Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, Shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? So that's basically him saying, well, if, if, if you're circumcised, you're supposed to keep the law, but you're not keeping the law, then you might as well not be circumcised, right? Versus if somebody's not circumcised and they're keeping all these other laws, they're not even circumcised. So that's what he's saying. So that's what he's saying. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Which is by nature, if it fulfilled the law, judge thee, who by the letter and circumcision doest transgress the law, doest transgress the law. Right. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of the Heavenly Father. So right. like he was going into, you, you serve the Heavenly Father, you keep those laws. Through the spirit, right? It's the, it's the spirit. Hey, the house, I said, it's the spirit that cooking it, right? The law couldn't bring us life, per se. You know what I'm saying? We was, we was, you know, in debt to the law, and we was all worthy of death. That's why we needed Christ to come. Right. Uh, right, and I got uh, this Matthew 5 and 17. Just touch on what brothers was going through earlier. Matthew 5 and 17. It says, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Right, this is red letters. How is Shai speaking? It says, I am not to come to destroy, but to fulfill. Right? And now I wanted to go to this real fast. Just to because the scriptures tell you what he fulfilled when you go to Acts 3 and 18. Right? Check this out. I believe that's what it is. Um, Acts 3, yeah, and 18. It says, Oh, just let me know when you're there. I'm there. Alright, Carl. I say, but those things which God before has showed by the mouth of all his prophets, right? So all the things you read about in the Old Testament about Christ, it says. That Christ should suffer, he has so fulfilled. So that's what he fulfilled, the laws that, I mean, um, the prophecies that were about him. Because, you know, when you read Isaiah 53, that's about Christ, right? Right, and there's it's it's many prophecies in the Old Testament about Christ. That's what he fulfilled, right? And, it, and it's, um, even in the law, it's prophecies about Christ. In, in number two, Numbers 24, Deuteronomy 18, right? Right, so going back to Matthew 5 and uh, 18, uh, 18 again, it says, For verily I say unto you, Till heaven, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. And everything have not been fulfilled yet, man. You know? Yeah. We still we still wait for um, Yahweh to return. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's how you know the law is still active. But we don't, we don't, our, our salvation is not based off how perfectly we keep the law. Because you know the parable, uh, the parable about the, the publican and the, um, the Pharisee, when they were both in the temple praying and one... One thought he was better than the other. Yeah, yeah. That that come. That's that spirit of oh, I keep the law better than this brother, so I'm gonna receive salvation and he won't. That's that's not what we teach, you know. But we do teach to keep the law to the best of your ability, man. So if you say you believe in Yahweh Shai and you you don't eat pork and you you try to keep other laws as well, hey, you on the right track, man. You know what I'm saying? Our job is to guard, you know, and that's something that I do see a lot of people disregard. Right. Lacks the days ago and just you know just 
live the type of life that they want to live. Exactly. You know, but uh, I forgot where it says in Romans, but it says, do we continue in our sin after we already, after we, yeah, after we received our salvation, he said, forbid not. Right, God forbid. Exactly. And what is sin? The transgression of the law, yeah. man. All right, come on, man. It's all there. All right, man. Hallelujah. All right, come on. All praises to the Most High. Man. So, uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 1. It says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ, or Yahweh Shai, were baptized unto his death? Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Hamashiach, was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. So we got newness of life through Yahweh Shai and him you know, uh, being that sacrifice for us. So now we don't have the excuse to continue doing the things that Yahweh Shai came and died for. Yeah. That just would make his sacrifice null and void. Right. And now this is Revelation 14 and in, in verse 12. It says, Here is the patience of the saints. And here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Yahweh Shai, right? Or, or Jesus, as the real would call him, right? And I got one more, too, because it, it shows us all throughout the Bible from the Old Testament to the New Testament. It says guarding here in this translation. It says what? It says here are those guarding the commands. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Con, same uh, thing, man. Yeah. For the faith. Right. And it's uh, Revelation 21 and 8. I'm going to start from 7. Revelation 21 and 7. It says... He that overcometh shall inherit all things. Because you read about in Romans, the 8th chapter, it tells you that those that overcome, they're going to be um, joint heirs with Christ. And Christ is going to have a kingdom of his own, man. You know, he's going to rule over these different nations. That's, that's, pro that's prophecy. Yeah. You know, he's going to have a rod of iron. He's going to rule over the nations. And it says, he that overcometh shall inherit all things. They're going to be joint heirs with Christ, right? Or with Yahweh Shai, right? Because we don't really like to call him with that, that word, with the real call him. We like to call him by his real name. You see what I'm saying? So, Carl, it says... And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Right? That's the point I wanted to get to. Verse 8. It says, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers, right? And thou shalt not murder is in the law, and whoremongers and sorcerers, all these things are in the law. It says, And idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake that burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And we know um, the lake that, that burneth with fire and brimstone is when uh, nuclear destruction comes to this earth, man. You know, and ultimately when um, uh, Yahweh Shai returns. Right, it's going to be the lake of fire. And that's going to happen here in America, man. You know, and that's what we come out here to warn our people of. We want our people to repent so they don't have to, re, uh, to, to reap judgment, man. You know? Uh, that's why I actually appreciate y'all being out here. You know, this, we need so much more. We lost. That's, you know, we lost everything, we, man. I read these curses. I, I, I cry a lot, you know, just thinking about our people and just where, where we at today. It's like you want to throw the truth at them, and it's just like many don't get it, right? You know, but I understand it's a it's a two thirds thing. See, um, hey man, you're on point, man. You know, That's a fact. The Lord said the election have obtained it. It's not for everybody to get, man. You know, so you can't. You, you when you come into this thing, you have that zeal. You want to stuff it down their throat, man. Yeah. Right? Uh, pause. But y'all know what I'm saying. Like yeah. you want to stuff it in their face, <laughs> but <laughs> everybody is gonna get. Literally, destroy relationships trying to get people to see the truth and right. understand and, and ultimately that's why it lead up to you know those in your own household being enemies right like, they, they resent you because you try to force religion on them or whatever exactly you know, they mind, right and it's because they don't know the heavenly father but you know the heavenly father right yeah i was trying to say you know they don't know him right but we know him that's why we in the religion that we in now. Right. It's slave religion until you tell them who actually in the book. Exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly, man. They'd be like, oh, well, now it's not to now. But it's like, <laughs> you can tell that, like, who they live. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right? You can, you, can, you can tell, like, it's so deeply ingrained because they won't pick it up and read to find out for themselves. They just like, nah, they gave us that as slavery. But you'll see, even the white man himself will say, yeah, we took out 70% of the Bible when we gave the slaves the Bible. Exactly. Exactly. Where do it say, I, I forgot where at, I think it's in Baruch, it says we're going to wake up in the land of our captivity. Uh, 2 and 30. Two, 30. 2 and 30. Yeah. yeah. You know, I read stuff like that, and it's like, wow. You know? Yeah, man, that's what we're waiting for, man. That's a fact. And that's, what we, that's what's happening right now. We're oh, waiting yeah. Right. It's happening right now. Right, man. That's, that's a beautiful thing, man. You know? 
I'm up. gonna catch this five, y'all. All right, be safe, brother. What's your name again? Timmy. Timmy. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see y'all around. Yo, yeah, Laura Willen, man. You on Facebook? Nah, all praises to the most high, man. You know, that's a beautiful thing, man. You know, you just, you link up. Hey, that, that's the spirit of the spirit. Lord, man. That's the, hey, it makes you feel good in the spirit because the brother came up with his own Bible. He already know he an Israelite, man. You know? And that's who the Lord will send amongst you. Like, those who's, who's uh, meet for repentance, like he told, like John the Baptist was saying. And it's the spirit because we were just saying, hey, that, bro that brother would have walked by as well if we didn't call his name, man. You know? As a matter of fact, he said he heard us. Exactly, he walked he by already. Yeah, he did walk by. The but if we didn't say that, so he would have been like, "Ah, these boys ain't." You know what I'm saying? No, not, he about to do the same thing. It is, it's the the body language that you give off. When right. You're out here. Like you can be out here teaching all you want to, but if you're not inviting the people to be amongst you, right? If you're not inviting the people into the church, what good is it doing? Exactly, man. That that that's 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 man. That's a lot. That shows a lot, man. Because we would have had a brother, a fellow believer, just walk right past us, man. You know, we ain't saying nothing to him. But that's all through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And uh, you had anything else you want to go to? Nah. All right, come on now. Yeah. I'm gonna go to, uh, I believe it's Matthew. That's the spirit, man. Uh, this is book of uh, John chapter sixteen. Uh, verse 20 it says barely barely I say unto you and ye shall weep and lament but the world shall rejoice and ye shall be sorrowful but your sorrow shall be turned into joy a woman when she is in travail has sorrow because her hour is come but as soon as she is delivered of the child she remembers no more the anguish for a joy that a man is born into the world so y'all is like and it's unto our salvation basically right right you know Right now, we be weeping and we sorrowful because we don't have the Lord with us, right? We're not reigning the earth in righteousness, I mean, ruling the earth in righteousness. You know, Yahweh Shai reigning. You know, the heathens, they got their foot on our neck constantly, right? We, we in the lowest estate that we could possibly be in, right? But understanding that that hour is coming where we're going to be delivered. That hour is coming where, you know, things are going to change for the better. And it's not always going to be doom and gloom and, you know, curses, right? It says... Uh, verse 22, and ye, now therefore, and ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man take it from you. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing, verily, verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you, or he will give it you. And the two have ye asked nothing in my name, ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be, that your joy may be filled. So the outside is letting us know, man. If we want it, man, we gotta ask for it. Man. Uh, on our way here, you know, it was just a spirit. We were standing at the bus stop, and, and the sister drove by. You know, she greeted us. You know, don't know the sister from the campaign. She ain't say shalom or nothing. You know, she just greeted us. How, how y'all doing, kings? You know, ask and ye shall receive. And drove off. You know, and, right. And that's just a spirit. Brothers kind of just looked at it like, hey, that's the Lord talking to us, letting us know, man. Any needs that you have, the Heavenly Father already knows prior to it. Right. So all you have to do is ask for it and we'll receive it. But we got to ask in faith and believe it. Right? Uh -huh. we no, that's, that's it. And um, Lord Willingness is edifying. And be, uh, be, uh, before we uh, close it out, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukhaka, Dash. And um, Shalom. Yeah, that looks good.